Which features does a guitar need in order to be considered a professional one? Surely it needs to have a nice sound, it has to be comfortable and it has to be versatile. During the 80s and the 90s and later on, a specific type of guitar has been used by many legendary pros like Michael Lando, Steve Lukather, Dan Huff and many others, played on records and on stage too. In today's video we're gonna take a look at four different guitars that have these kind of specs and I ordered these instruments to strumentimusicali.net. If you're curious to find out which guitars I've chosen, stick around because I'll unbox them right now. This guitar will be super strats in HSS configuration, a typology of guitar that I think fulfill the needs of a pro player. Sound, comfort and versatility. Of course, professional musicians are used to play also many other type of guitars like Telecasters, Les Pauls and many others, depending on what they need at the moment. But the HSS Super Strat is surely a great choice if you need a nice guitar that can cover many grounds. The guitar that you see in my hands is a Schecter Root 66 Elite Vintage. The Root 66, as far as I know, it's an exclusive model for Italy, so I guess if you want to buy one, you should check the link in the description down below. This guitar features a flamed maple top, I think it's a veneer, but surely it looks great. It has a Goto 510 bridge and a 10-way selector switch that combine with the split coil capability via the push-pull here, you can have a total of 14 different sounds. And the pickups are Schecter Pasadena Elite ones. The second guitar of today is an FGN Expert Odyssey that features an ash body, a quarter sawn maple neck, really nice indeed, with 22 medium jumbo frets with a special FGN treatment called circular fretting system that should provide a better intonation but check out FGN official site for more information about that. We have also FGN pickups and a five-way select switch plus two mini switch one to split the humbucker and this one to select the humbucker no matter the position of the five-way select switch. Regarding the hardware we have Goto bridge and tuners. The third guitar is an Ibanez AZ2204N in this nice Prussian blue metallic. We have an older body, a roasted maple neck and rosewood fretboard. This is the Ibanez version of this HSS Super Strat typology of guitar, so it's not the classic shred type of guitar that you can normally associate with the brand, but it's way more vintage voiced indeed. We have stainless steel frets in a compound radius fretboard, Goto hardware, and also we have Sim Duncan Fortuna, pickups that are different from the Hyperion that you can find on the rest of the AZ line of guitars. We have then a five-way selector switch and an alter switch that enables nine different types of sounds. The last instrument of today is the Fender Stratocaster Ultra Lux, top of the production line by Fender. If you want more, you have to go with the custom shop. This guitar features an original Floyd Rose Bridge, an alder body, a maple neck with rosewood fretboard with the compound radius from 10 to 14 inches. We have 22 jumbo stainless steel frets and Fender Ultra pickups, two noiseless single coil and a double tap humbucker that you can split via the mini switch here. This type of instrument has to have a nice clean sound but also it needs to be good to be colored with various effects like in the next example.
Also, I think it's nice to have a sparkly sound in order to cut through the mix if you play a funk guitar part, for example. Guitars are basically strats anyway, so I think it's a good idea to hear them in a more Hendrixy territory as well. <laughs> I think that the humbucker has not to be that powerful, so you will have a nice balance with the single coil pickups and also you have a nice organic sound with good dynamics when you play with a crunch tone. <laughs> Finally, the guitar has to be comfortable in order to be easy to solo with generous gain settings and giving us good sustain. As you could probably heard, these four guitars sound pretty similar when recorded. Maybe Ibanez and Fender have a slightly lighter sound compared to the other two that I found to be a little bit more aggressive. 
Of course, the feeling that you can have while playing these four guitars is surely different, notwithstanding that typology is pretty much the same. So I think that it's a matter of personal taste relatively to the aesthetic, to brand affection, to the feeling that you have while you're playing it and also depending on your budget, of course. Shakta and FGN offer great value for money, although the FGN is made in Japan and offers a pretty decent guitar case, while the Shakta is Indonesian made and does not include even a gig bag. And that is something that I would expect in a, a guitar in this price range. The Ibanez AZ is probably the more modern in terms of sound and feeling, but don't expect anything like the classic shred machine with super thin neck. This guitar is way more vintage oriented and it also features a really nice guitar case with some nice accessories as well that makes it a really nice one indeed. Finally, the Fender is more expensive of the four guitars here, but it's also made in California and it features a really nice guitar case and accessories. It sounds good, it's really comfortable, but be careful because actually the Floyd Rose Bridge changes a lot the usual Stratocaster type of vibe, both in terms of feeling with the instrument and also in terms of sound. I think it makes the guitar, let's say, somehow less resonant. That is not necessarily a bad thing if you want to use a lot of effects or a lot of gain with your amplifier. Anyway, if you're not searching for a vintage voice type of Stratocaster, you should definitely check out this Ultra Lux guitar because I think it could be quite interesting for you. Let me know which one of these guitars did you like the better and let me know if you have as well a guitar with this HSS configuration. I want to thank again strumentimusicali.net that gave me the chance to make this video. Of course, you can find all the links in the description down below regarding these four guitars. If you liked this video, please consider subscribe and give a like to this video to help me out with the algorithm and that's pretty much it for today guys thank you very much for watching and see you next time ciao <laughs>